I got a question. When should you put a stop work order for non-payment? I've talked about this before in the context of um, dealing with clients, collecting payment can be a pain in the butt. I think that to the extent we can pre get prepayments, I think that's the way to go. I know it's not always standard. Net 30 is very standard in a lot of industries and in our industry in particular, particularly if you're working with bigger clients. It just yesterday, I was seeing some tweets on this and one of the guys who was responding, who, who runs a, uh, a Shopify agency was saying that they moved everything to prepaid for new customers and that it worked really well. So I, I really think that's the way to go. Um, I've talked to other agencies about this kind of thing. One of the, one of the other agencies I know that runs a pretty tight ship, they stop work after five days of, of an invoice being overdue with prepaid retainers. I, I think that's a great model. This is one of those things that it's going to be hard to change your status quo. If your status quo is net 60 or net 30. And if you normally, you know, give some budge room, if they're, if they're late on that, it's going to be hard to, to for you to want to change this if clients are used to net 90 net 60 that's what they're going to want that's what they're going to ask for so it's a negotiation and you're always in a better position to negotiate if you can walk away right so to the extent that you can tell your clients hey this is our new policy without being obviously rude about it you want to respect existing relationships and maybe carve out some exceptions but once you decide on what to carve out what not to carve out to the extent that you can say hey this is the policy and you know if you're not interested with it totally cool to the extent you can walk away that puts you in a strong position to uh, negotiate and if you look into this there's lots of examples of you know agencies that have gone this route and just had great results so to answer the question when, sh when should you put, put a stop work order man I like the idea of you know five days if it was me I'd really want to run a relatively tight ship on this stuff because you're, you're essentially financing clients um, even as standard as net 30 is you're essentially it's like microfinance you're microfinancing clients for 30 days and as an agency as a freelancer you, you have enough problems to solve without having to solve cash flow and financing, right? But you have to recruit talent. You have to take fuzzy requirements from a client into an actual working product, which those, you gotta do project management. Those things in and of themselves are very hard to do. When you throw cash flow and, and essentially financing on top of it, it can create a real train wreck. So I would just take that out of the equation if at all possible and essentially have extremely short timeframes for putting a stop work order.